Yo, sir. So guys, we are about a week away from our most favorite day of the year. So before I started, I just want to quickly say happy holidays. I hope you guys have an amazing one with your families. I hope you guys killed your school exams. And secondly, on our last story time, guys, we killed it. Okay, so you guys snapped. You guys got well over 750 likes. So thank you very much. I'm coming out with story number two. So let's get right into this. So oddly enough, guys, this story dates back to around the same time as when David Parody saved my life. So this was well in high school around 2009. And once again, oddly enough, it actually involves my friend Mark again and his truck. Me and Mark hung out a ton in high school. This time, guys, this story, it gets a little freaky. After this story, I tell you guys I actually believed in magic, witchcraft, whatever you guys want to call it. So, I am from a city called Ottawa, guys. It is Canada's capital. And there is one very famous homeless woman who lives here. She has absolutely no chill. She will come to your door. She will come to your car window. She will come wherever you are. So me, my friend Lucas, my friend Mark, we were getting wings at a place called Wild Wing. The wings were delicious. We were finishing up our meal and we're walking in the parking lot. As we are walking away to my friend Mark's truck, the same truck I almost fell off and David Perdy saved my life. So we're walking, you know, we're having a laugh, shooting the shit, and we start to hear footsteps. Donk, donk, donk. And these footsteps, they start to move quicker and louder and louder. So one of us turns around, okay? And like I said before, already, we know who this woman is, the crack lady. She's very, very famous in Ottawa. And so, like I was saying, one of us turns around, okay? And we meet eyes with her. And literally, without hesitation, I think Lucas literally yelled, RUN! And so we sprint for the car, okay? And this woman, she sees that. She starts going quicker, all right? She's pacing up, she's walking towards our car, literally in a light jog at this point. We are sprinting to the car. Mark unlocks it, we rip the doors open, okay? And Mark's obviously a bit nervous because we hear her coming for us. So Mark turns the keys to the car, turns it on, and he's driving a standard truck. In this next part, I shit you not, this actually happened. She makes it to the car, she actually catches up. As we're pulling out of the driveway, she goes and at the same time, she just goes <laughs> Makes a weird little noise and touches the car and the car actually stopped. I shit you not. We were yelling at this point like, whoa, what the hell? So Mark oh, turns the keys to the car again, rips out, okay, and we make it away safe. So at this point, we're whew, like panicked like it was a close one. I don't even know why we were panicked. She wasn't even gonna do anything other than ask us for money, but who knows? Cause at this point we've seen her so many times we don't know what she's up to. So half scared and half laughing, we text our friends who were at the McDonald's about a five minute drive away in minimum about a half an hour walk. So we get to the McDonald's, we were chilling, we explain what's going on. So they finish up their meals. I'm with all the boys, we're walking towards all our cars and I look over at Lucas and I look at his face and he literally goes, no way. We look and it is the freaking crack lady. I don't know how the hell she transported over Either she caught a freaking bus, Uber wasn't an option at this point, and I doubt this broad had a car or called a taxi. We are tripping out because we had just told the guys a story and everybody was in shock. So once again, without hesitation, all of the boys literally yell, run and we get to our cars and as me mark and lucas are ripping out of the mcdonald's driveway and we still think lucas is cursed to this day so lucas if you're watching this man i don't know you might need to see a doctor get some crazy anti crack lady medicine but lucas and her met eyes and she gave what me and my friends call the eye eye so i'm gonna give you guys the eye right now just so you know okay so she looked at lucas with her wide eyes no teeth and she went Right into Lucas's eyes, looking directly at them. Lucas like goes back, you know, just got hit by the Holy Ghost. So we're hoping to this day that Lucas doesn't have some sort of weird curse where he too will one day become a crack man. But he's been okay so far. So luckily we're off the hook, nothing's happened. So fast forward three or four years, I've run into her a couple times. Um, luckily she hasn't given me the eye eye. We've been pretty cool, you know, I, I maybe think she remembers me. She probably doesn't because she sees about, you know, a thousand people a day. But there will be no other time that she taught us that time travel was actually possible, okay? She taught us that you can turn off a car with literally a grunt and a poke if you have your black magic. And that time she gave Lucas the eye eye, which we still don't know if it's changed him. And yeah, that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. That is story time number two, the story of how the crack lady almost got us. If you guys enjoy this story time and you want to hear another story, because like I said, I have a ton of them. I'm not going to get greedy, okay? I'm going to stick with the 750 likes. So if you can blast that, guys, I will come out with episode three of Storytime with Chad with a J. And lastly, guys, before I go, this channel is almost at 20,000 subscribers, which to me is absolutely crazy. So I really wanted to thank you 
for tuning into the videos, okay? If you could share this channel with a friend, help me get to 20K, 20K by New Year's, okay? That is my goal, guys. 20,000 subscribers by January 1st. It would mean the world to me. So that's it for today's video, guys. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Have the best day of your life, and I will see you next time. Peace!